All right, guys, we have a quick project that we should have done a long time ago, especially since I'm saying it should be quick. But these cords, it's finally time to hide them. Any of the pictures that you see that I've taken, I've wrapped them around the TV to get the pictures. So no more putting it off. We're going to tackle it today. We found this kit here at Lowe's. It's the Enwall Power Cord and Cable Hider Kit. And essentially, this is what's gonna happen. The cords are gonna run through the wall and come out at the bottom so you don't see them. You can see here that we've marked where the stud is and you want to do this so wherever you create your opening you're not running into a stud so you can see it starts here and it ends there so that's our stud so we're going to put it right here's here. the tool we're using it's a hole saw it comes with this handle here so you can do it by hand just in case you don't have a power drill to attach it to but this handle does come off where you can attach it to a drill but we're gonna do it this way to show you how to do it. All right, I took the handle off so you can see. This piece right here will go into the power drill if you have one. If you don't, just put this handle right on top here and you're good to go, either way. Bad. Oh boy. All right guys, I was pushing way too hard. <laughs> that was a little bit too serious. You don't even have to apply pressure, just turn it. Look at this. <gasps> Do I need to we have it? Hole number one. Wasn't too bad. <laughs> hole number two is done. All right, we have our two holes, one up top and one at the bottom. It comes with these rods where you attach this hook on the end, and then you put your cord on the hook, and this is going to help you run it from the bottom hole up to the top hole. The end that doesn't have the hook, you're gonna feed it through the hole first until you see it at the top hole. You got lucky. All right, once you have it through the hole, you're just going to pull, pull the cord up. Just like this. We're done running the cords through the wall. We ended up doing the HDMI cord, the cable cord, and then this is the power cord that came with the kit. Next, you're gonna take the HDMI cord and your cable cord. This here is called a grommet and you're gonna run it through this hole that you see. So when you insert it into the wall, your cords are gonna be coming out right here. Next, you're gonna insert the grommet into the wall and you wanna make sure these flaps here on both sides are up. Push it into the wall and then you're just going to use a screwdriver and screw it in. Take your other grommet for the top hole here, and you're gonna take, I guess your plug, that's what you would call it, and you're going to insert it onto the grommet. Make sure that it's lined up, and then you're gonna take this piece here, and you're gonna screw it on top of it. And before you insert the grommet into the wall, you wanna make sure that you feed your cords through the hole of this one as well. Flaps are closed. Insert it into wall. And then we'll screw it in. Both of them are in. This is the power cord that came with the kit and you're gonna plug this one into the wall. So the other end can either go into a surge protector or you can plug it straight into the wall. And then your TV cord gets plugged into the one up top. And then from here, we're attaching, bless you, the cable cord and the HDMI cord to the back of the TV. And remember, it's running behind the wall now to down here, the other end, so you're not going to see it here anymore. And then I zip tied the TV cord in the back so you wouldn't see the extra that was hanging down. And then I zip tied the cable and the power cord from here together just to make it neater in the back. 
And just like that, no more cords, my friends. I would say if we were not taking pictures and doing these videos, this might be at most a 30 minute project, but I would say more of a 20 minute. And look at that. Moment of truth, my friends. Yeah! Does it all work? TV's working, Roku's working,